Good morning. What is up, everyone? Today, we're back on the kayak. You guys enjoyed that last video, so I thought I'd take the kayak out again and um, flick some soft plastics, soft vibes, just on the edges river, so on the river's edge, sorry. Nothing too technical. We're just going to drift along and sort of just keep flicking the edges and see what we can come up with. I did go out land-based uh, yesterday. I ended up catching a salmon straight up. I'll show you guys that footage now. So I've got full contact between the lure and my rod and the line. I can really manage that bite properly. So as soon as that plastic hits the bottom, I can see it clearly, which I just got hit on the drop. I got hit on the drop and I has some intense head shakes, eh? That was on the drop and that has some intense head shakes. I don't know what it is. It could be a little, I'm not gonna say it, but it could be a little soapy or something. Where is it going, but? Yeah, that's not a flatty. That hit on the drop. Unless it's a trev, actually. It could be a trev. It has some big weight to it. I know trevs do that sort of stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he's running out. It could, could be a trev already. Oh, it's a big tailor. Okay, so that's what's here. Actually, hold on. That's a salmon. That's a salmon. I had a feeling I might bump into Sambo's here. He's not big. There you go. I'm not going to get this guy up, but lucky I'm running eight pound though. He's just going skits right now. He needs to just calm down a bit. Sambo! Land based Sambo in the new zone. How bloody good. I've been here for like 10 minutes. The new spot. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. And we have found a salmon straight away. On a three inch key tech 112 jig head, he's ripped that plastic. But yeah, how good is that for a river? For a little land based spot on the river, a nice salmon. It's probably like 40. I'm not going to measure him, we'll put him straight back, but good fun on the light tackle. And yeah. And then once that happened, it sort of just shut down, so I couldn't really produce a vlog, which was unfortunate because I love my land based sessions. And But nevertheless, we've got the kayak, got it rigged up, and um, we're going to try to catch some. Perch, brim, mull away if you bump into them. But um, I'll let you guys know what I'm rigged up with. So I thought I'd try the uh, squidgy wriggler. Never tried it before. It's a nice prawn imitation. I know perch like prawn imitations. Then we've got the uh, trusty Samaki vibe and the pearl shrimp. And we're going to run with a VX blade. So yeah, we're starting off with those three. And hopefully we can sort of find a rhythm, a pattern to see what the fish are biting on and we might switch up the plastics as we go. I've got Hoodlum Hunter in the back, that's my nephew. And he's got the compass as well. And yeah, see you guys in the water shortly. We made it, we're on the water. Six degrees, extremely cold, but extremely worth it. Three rods, we might start off flicking, I would say a soft plastic, just to sort of break ourselves in and um, just take it easy and just see how the current's flowing and whatnot. We've got a 1.8 jig head rigged up on the squidgy wriggler and we're using a seven foot, one to three kilo, six pound on six pound. Nice and light and um, hopefully that gets the bite. Let's start off with that and we'll see what happens from there. Hit at the moment. Righty oh. Righty oh, son. Fish. Fish. Brim. Yeah, brim. Nice. Very subtle eat. Very subtle eat. Didn't even feel him. Swing him back around here. It's not a bad one, eh? Doesn't need to be netted. Ah, uh, no, brim. Just a brim. 
Haven't seen a brim this dark in a while. There we go. Nice, nice river brim. Not the biggest, but I'll put him back in and see if we can hold up the big one, eh? Yeah? Are you on? Yeah. What? You're pulling hooks again? On what? A blade? Oh, I just got hit. Oh, I got a nice flatty. It's probably EP, man. It's got to be perch, maybe, I reckon. It's got a nice flatty, Moe. He's all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Get in there. It is freezing, guys, so if you see me using my towel, it's because it's... I can't even feel my fingers at the moment. There you go. Nice flat fish. Fish are coming through now. It's the second fish of the morning. Took a while. Ah, got me. You bloody got me, mate. All right. Probably around mid 40s. Very nice fish. Yeah, beautiful. Oh yeah, fish. Flatty. Yeah. Small one. It's a small flat fish. Got one problem today. My actual pliers broke. So I did bring them, but they broke. So I've only got nail clippers. Standing up. Oh, I just got tapped, eh? Yep, fish on. I think it's another flatty. Yep. Uh, I found the flatfish. gonna be one of those days I reckon I'm gonna get a hook in me hopefully not though so another little small flatty but we're getting fish it's good we'll have one more cast and then we'll probably head off and try to find a different sort of edge to work yeah I don't know at the moment Flock fish in the middle isn't really going to be productive. I think we need to find a bit more structure on the edge and to actually locate some fish. I feel like I'm just blindly casting at the moment. It's not really a productive way to fish, just casting out in the middle. I don't know. Yeah, fish. Did he come off? Or is he just small? Tiniest flatty. Alright, so we're catching a few flatties here. Not a bad thing that we're catching fish, but we need to sort of try to locate other species. So we're definitely going to make a move. Without a doubt. I feel like that would be an appropriate thing to do. For sure. So let's do that.
Let's go change locations. I'll be back, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on. Ah, flatty again, bro. Oh, bit of weight. Oh, he came off. What? You know what? I think that was Joey, Maui. That was very odd. Yep. Oh, I can't. What is going on? Nah, I think that's Taylor, bro. Nah, it's a flathead. Jeez, man. <clears throat> Very odd bite. Don't have sh uh, pliers, man. What can we do? Gotta improvise a bit. What the hell did I just do? Oh yeah, oh bro, what was that? That was a good hit man, I don't know if that was flatted That was an actual tap tap Oh yeah, good fish Maui Big Jew, uh, sorry, uh, big flatty or a Jew? Actually, you know what? I think it's foul hooked. It, it's foul hooked. <laughs> it's a foul hooked flatty look. <laughs> I'm saying because he was like dead weight, but. Bro, I'm catching fish, eh? It's funny. How does that happen, bro? Stay with me. Well, it was one of those sessions. I've got the yak in the um, back in the van. We've packed up. A bit of sunburn, actually. It was a beautiful day out, but unfortunately, the quality of the fish wasn't up to scratch. We did catch numerous fish. Like, I'm not disappointed at the fact that I caught fish. It's the fact that the quality of the fish weren't really big and uh, what can you do? Uh, heaps of flatties around and that seemed to be the case. That session was actually quite long. I tried to trim it down to as as much as I can so there's no boring bits or anything like that. But yeah, it was just hookup after hookup with um, unfortunately small flatties. I thought, am I gonna post this video or not? It's something that, um, that can probably educate you guys on and educate myself on. You know, flicking soft vibes, plastics on the edge. I actually spent a lot of time throwing plastics on the edge, uh, coming up with nothing. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video once again. And stay tuned for another one coming up. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching again and catch you next time.